Cliche roll. Ching, ching. <laughs> Just to do a summary of the murals we saw today, those were also the Love the City Denver mural is also located in the Rhino Art District. It's a great mural, it's really pretty. Um, it has a lot of tourism visitors. I'm not sure where they're from, but a lot of people visit the mural. <laughs> Sorry, I'm my tired. sister's looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't vlog. I don't enjoy vlogging. I'm very camera shy. Back to the video. Okay. The Love This City Denver mural is pretty. However, the, the location is not the best, I would say. It is across the street from a homeless shelter, so you do have to be aware of um, some of the needles on the ground. Um, and just kind of be like aware of your surroundings. A lot of people that are like asked um, my dad and I when we met a lot of questions, and I wanted to get like a pretty picture without the chaos going around and the video going on so I'm going to use a video that I took a while back in the summer where it was a little bit less chaotic um, here's your daily or weekly dose of politics in May 2012 there was a ban that didn't allow the homeless people to camp out in certain areas but recently I believe it was in 2020 or the year 2021 that ban has been lifted and there's been a thing called ordinance 303 where you have officials have to give homeless people seven day a seven day grace period before um the kicked out of camping and that kind of like i guess ties into the whole urban camping on private property and public property it's kind of messy but if you want to look it up feel free to look it up I'm pretty sure they could explain it a lot better than me but other than that it's a pretty mural um there's another mural across the street from that that one was also pretty, but kind of like the same situation. It's kind of hard to get like a nice picture or a nice video without the uh, things going on around. The street is super busy too, so keep that in mind. Um, that concludes the summary for the Love City and Bermuda.